In this video, we're going to learn how to use the Toolbox Structural Steel tool. Let's click Toolbox on the standard menu, Structural Steel. Here's the dialog window. The first thing we're going to do is select a standard. I'm going to use ANSI inch. Next, we select a type. I'll use a rectangular tube. Next, we choose the size. I'll use 4 by 2 by 0.25. Then click Create. And now let's click Done. Sketch 1 appears here in the tree. Let's right click and edit it. Take a normal 2 view. If the sketch relations are visible, you may want to hide them to unclutter your graphic area. I'm going to control select this line and the origin point. And I'll apply a midpoint relation. Now select this line, apply a horizontal relation. My sketch is now fully defined, so let's exit the sketch. And let's take an isometric view. Let's activate the extruded boss base command. Right click on the selected contours box and select clear selections. For the depth, let's enter a value of 500 millimeters, tab to register and OK to accept our boss extrude. Now let's zoom to fit. I'll select this face next. Go to the toolbox, Structural Steel. This time I'm going to use Type C Channel of size 3 by 4 by 1. Let's click Create and Done. Now let's make some edits to the supporting sketch. Right click, Edit Sketch. Take a normal 2 view, and let me zoom in a bit so this all becomes clear. Here we go. I'm going to grab this point, and drag it and snap it to this point. And our sketch is fully defined. Let's exit the sketch. Take an isometric view. Now let's pre-select Sketch 2, and then we'll activate the Extruded Boss command. For depth, 250 millimeters, tab to register. For direction 2, I'll use up to surface. Let's right click here, select other. There we go. And here we have a preview. Uncheck merge result and click OK. Now I'm going to insert some reference geometry. Let's insert a plane. I'll create it via three points. And here's my selections, point one, point two, and point three. Here we have a preview. Let's click Accept. Now let's activate the Mirror command. The plane's already pre-selected. Let's go down to the Bodies to Mirror section, and we'll select the Bodies to Mirror in the graphic area here. Once again, if you need a separate solid, uncheck the Merge Solids option. And let's click OK to accept our work. Let's create another structural member. I'll select this face. Go to Toolbox, Structural Steel. This time I'll use the S-beam type. Size 3 by 5.7. Let's create and done. Now edit the supporting sketch, Sketch 3, right-click, Edit Sketch. Let's zoom in a bit so this makes sense. I'll control select this line and this edge and apply a collinear relation. Now let's insert some dimensions. Activate the Smart Dimension command. We'll select this point and this point. Let's make it 15 millimeters. Tab to accept. Exit the sketch. And zoom to fit. Let's pre-select sketch 3, activate the extruded boss command, make the depth 500 millimeters, tab to register, uncheck merge result, and click OK. What we've ended up with here is four structural members. Now in order to get working in the Weldman's environment, you need to right click on the tab and then scroll down to Weldman's and select it from this list. 
Click on the Weldments tab. Here's the Weldment tool. You can get to the same place via the Insert menu, scroll down to Weldments, and then select Weldment. The Weldment symbol appears right here, and here's the cut list. Let's right-click on this item and select Update, and so on. This concludes our video about the SolidWorks Toolbox Structural Steel Tool.